do good morning boys and girls <coughs> having a coughing attack um i'm at my life coach's house and uh, i got my uh she she gave me an early uh um, christmas attire sweater there see check it out yeah ugly sweater uh yeah, and uh, so I didn't do a video yesterday because I had to sh get all the uh, get all the masseuses together. We had to get into the U-Haul and uh, come over to the life coach's house. Uh, so that took it takes like all the effort in the world. Um, it's hard to fit in 14 naps when you have to make a move such as that. But <clears throat> we always have to come here just to get ourselves back into. Uh, uh, Zen mode, I guess you would say. <clears throat> I'm still trying to get back up to that 80% of my picks. <clears throat> I'm dying here. <clears throat> Gosh. Anyways, I'm not going to stop recording because I just heard about the Batten and Trade, and I'm not. I'm not going to tell. I'm going to do another video about the picks. I'm going to do the Batten and Trade right now. Uh, what it appears here is that this trade has been on the works for a while and that Anaheim has lost their top three centers. Um, sounds like Raquel, I guess, might be out for a little bit as well. Um, I thought Kessler and, and uh, Getzlaff were going to be were going to be back soon, but maybe not. And this seems like a desperate trade that New Jersey, I believe, got the better of in a pretty big way. Um, Henrique is more or less has shown to be best suited as a third line center. Now a darn good one at that, but um, for a guy Vatnin, who for sure hasn't developed as much as they thought they would, is probably more of a five six, but still has upside. It's still possible that he could be a number one two uh, defenseman. Certainly adds everything that New Jersey needs right now for their defense. Um, Enrique has a pretty rich contract on the 4.5 to 5, <clears throat> and Blindisi um, has has also not progressed in the New Jersey system the way they thought. Now, Anaheim could uh, certainly has some very good scouting stuff there, as you can tell by their the the uh, picks that they have on their roster. Um, they do a very good job of drafting, and uh, they know talent. So. It's very good chance that they see something in Blendisi that uh, I certainly wouldn't be able to see because I can't watch the AHL games. But uh, from what I've seen up with him um, in the big le in the big uh, leagues in the NHL, he is uh, a fast skater that his uh, hands and uh, does not hand and mind has not cut up to his feet. Um, he looks more, if he's going to play, as a third liner, and I wouldn't say the best third liner in the world. He has an offensive mindset, but not at an NHL level. Um, what they see in him, how they figure that they can develop him, maybe do something different than New Jersey, and this guy turns into a top six guy, and you've got Enrique, who is a very good third line center. It evens out the trade, not too bad. But as it is, it seems like they have an o kind of an overpriced uh, a guy who's paid as a second line center, playing more of a third line spot should be playing a third line spot. Um, that when now I understand that Anaheim will probably look at the fact that Henri can play on the left side. So when their centermen come back, they have an additional left winger which they're weak at. But the problem is that. The left winger, the left winger, that he's a left winger that they already have. They already have guys on the left side that play a lot like he does. Um, the guy they got from Dallas there, who's injured right now, I can't remember his name, but um, um, it's the same type of player. He's not what you call an electrifying scoring winger, something that they've been looking for a long time since they got rid of Bobby Ryan and haven't been able to replace him, and I don't think they replaced him here. So, uh, that being said, I think New Jersey did a heck of a job getting Vatanen, who is probably at least a 3-4. Um, he was expected to be a 1-2, but he probably places more in the 3-4 spot. Um, he still has upside, though. It's possible when given uh, time in New Jersey, he could reach that potential still, and if that's the case, then they definitely won this trade. Anyways, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. Be waiting later on today as I give you my picks, as I always do. Um, oh, of course, as you know, 
you subscribe to my channel, you get a free vat of Jaime's Loop. Oh, I didn't, I don't have my Jaime's Body's Loop, but it's the best there, I said it. And a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace sent to your door. How could it be better? Have a great day. Lots of love to you.